Hey, what's going on, guys? This is Tim, Landscaping Lifestyle, and we have Pro Land Snow up in East Grand Forks, Minnesota, Grand Forks, North Dakota. Um, thank you for watching. Please make sure you like and subscribe. Um, things have been kind of quiet around here until today. Um, it is the 20th of February, 2023, and we finally got some snow that came through. We got about, I don't know, somewhere between four to five inches probably up here in the Grand Forks area. Um, but I want to show you guys, I know I've talked to you guys a lot about Arctic sectionals. Um, I have this kind of flipped up right now because I have to replace a puck. And I wanted to show you what happens. This is the only downfall that I found of these Arctic sectionals, especially when you're running, this is the HD model. So it's got taller sides. Obviously it's a monster of a pusher. Um, we're running this one on a 621D. This is our biggest loader that we have. Um, but anyway, I wanted to show you these pucks. So these rubber pucks are what allows the whole unit to kind of flex and bend when you're on uneven ground. And that's where the whole like Arctic sectional, that's where the value is, is that every panel kind of flexes. So if you're plowing along a, a, a unsmooth surface, some, some panels will move and shift and twist. And um, so if you have cracks in the concrete or the asphalt or whatever, it'll adjust to that. So these rubber pucks in here, this is just thick rubber. That's what these are designed to do. They're, they're designed to let that panel, if you can see that shifting when I'm shaking it. Hopefully you can see that. Um, but basically what happens every once in a while when you're pushing into piles and like right now, since we haven't had snow for a while, we had a lot of frozen piles. So now this, this panel, you can see how weak this is. How I can just kind of shift that easily. Um, and it's because this puck right here snapped and obviously cold temperatures um, just in general letting these things sit out year round i want to show you like this i know i replaced these pucks not too long ago so they look nice and new and clean these pucks i did replace already once this year let's see how they just kind of worn out and they're all right at that kind of pivot point where they get worn from flexing constantly so over time they're going to wear out and they're gonna pop. I replaced these two recently too. It's, it seems to be always the bottom of the pucks. And there's things you can do to reduce this, like you can angle your bucket. As you're pushing up into a pile, you can kind of tip your bucket back and make sure that you got a good angle and leverage on it. But ultimately, Arctic sectionals, this is the only thing that you gotta keep an eye out for. And it's inconvenient, because when you're out in the field, unless you have a replacement pair on hand and the tools in your, in your uh, machine, obviously that's why I stopped, I made a pit stop back to the shop today. And we just kind of finished our route today. So um, it's actually kind of good timing to get a new set on here. But anyway, Arctic sectionals, rubber puck replacement. Every once in a while, you'll just have to deal with it. It's just the, the wear and tear on the, on the unit. Um, but again, that's what gives it the benefit of being able to flex on its un, uneven ground. So thanks for checking it out, guys. Uh, let me know if you guys are running Arctic sectionals or if there's anything that you think is even better than an Arctic sectional. I'd love to hear about it. All right, guys, make sure you like and subscribe. Later.